Hi everyone and welcome to our video series of ordinary differential equation. This is the last part of our... Uh, <clears throat> we still have uh, one question that will be in the next video. Then we will be uh, finishing Laplace transform uh, for this term. But for sure, as long as we have some time, we'll make another videos uh, for the ordinary differential equations. Um, Kramer rules and many many uh, theorems will use them okay so in this video I'd like to discuss with you guys inverse Laplace of this function I hope you enjoy watching these videos if you have any question put it below 1 over s squared minus 2s Plus two. Okay. So how would you get Laplace transform for that? Okay. All right. We don't have a direct Laplace transform for this function. Um, you would think of okay, let's uh, make it. Let's answer this with um, partial fraction. Okay, can you um, analysis or make it like this? For example, one over s minus whatever number right there, multiply by s or multiply by anything else. It'll be hard to make it using a partial fraction. So if you have a CAS UFX 991 ES plus, this will help you to know that this function can be resolved uh, easily. So if you put in A1 and you put in B minus 2, put in C2, you'll get, for example, 1 plus i this means oh that now i think that partial fraction will not be used in this but there is another method that will help you do this to resolve this function really easily using completing square so using completing the square completing square That's what we're going to do. So, very easily, in order to use completing square, we need to have the function positive. The coefficient here is positive of s square. Okay, then minus or positive whatever coefficient of s, also positive or negative. The idea here is just this. This is need, needs to be positive. Okay, good. We have s square positive and 2s negative then plus c. Good. What exactly we do? Okay. We take the coefficient of s, which is minus 2. Then we multiply by half. Okay, then we will have minus 1. Take this minus 1 and put square to it. This is equal 1. Right? So this, the value that we were going to put the to the function in order to using completing square. In order to com using completing the square. Okay. Okay, so the functions like that will be s square minus two s plus two minus one plus one. Then we're gonna take this this 
we're gonna get the square root of this is this and then half of this is 1 minus 1 then we're gonna make it square like that okay so if you square this a square is a square a square of this is 1 okay 2 multiplied by this and this is minus 2. Okay. Very easy. Again. So we have the function. It is positive. Then we take the coefficient of s multiplied by half is minus 1 square minus 1 is 1 then the function we will make minus 2 s minus 1 plus 1 plus 2 for example anyway take the square root of this is s half of this is minus 1 put it to the square r square then you will have this one That you put addition into the function because if you square this it will be square if you square this it will be one if you square uh, if you multiply for these by so it will be two minus two s okay so all you're gonna do is just put plus here and the negative right there just to make it to make the shape of the function looks nice okay now you're working on this function. Okay. And minus 1 plus 2 is equal to plus 1. That's it. Very easy. Again. Okay, again. We did all these things, okay? So s square minus 2s plus 2 then all you're gonna do just take the plus 2 out there put it out there we don't need it for now we need to put to the function plus 1 and minus 1 so put plus plus 1 and minus 1 we will take this we're gonna work on it take the square root of s is s minus half uh, square root of a uh, square is s half s or the coefficient of s so is my is minus one put the square okay and put this here so this is the final form that we could use completing square form very well so now we know how to solve this problem so inverse Laplace of the function that we simplified using completing square 1 over s minus 1 shift by 1 square plus 1 do you know this function okay remove the shift remove the shift it's 1 over s square plus omega square s square plus omega square and there is Omega right there, there is a sine, omega t. Omega here is square root of this number, square root of 1 is 1, so omega t. So sine t. Sine t. And shift by minus 1, this means it was multiplied by 2 over exponential to, to the power of t. Okay? So that's it. So this is inverse Laplace using completing the square. Thank you for watching this video. And see you in the last video. Next video will be the last video for Laplace. We have covered a lot of topics regarding Laplace transform. So the last topic will be covered in the, ne in the next video. And we're going to talk about the derivative 
and how to use assumption uh, let uh, let the less of y of t equal y of s and so we're gonna work on that thank you for watching this video if you like this video share it to your friends and um, subscribe to our channel to help you out more with not just math we're gonna help you out more with many many things regarding electrical engineering mathematics science we're working on that as long as we have time so we appreciate your your effort bye bye